Hawaii. You're watching Take Two. Welcome back. It's 840. With breezy conditions, we're getting a safety check on all wind-related sports. That's right. And Dallas Ontiveros, he joins us live from Magic Island with more details. Good morning, Dallas. <laughs> Good morning, aloha everyone. We're here at Magic Island talking about the breezy conditions and also still hanging out with Ivan. He's with the Kailua Wind Sports Association. Good morning, Ivan. Aloha, good morning. This has been really interesting just to learn about all the different wind sports that we could do out here. As far as your point of view goes, how was this past weekend with the winds? This past weekend was amazing, probably 15 to 25 miles per hour winds. Yeah. So very strong wind, a lot of gusts. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. And there's a lot of excitement when it comes to these breezy days, but of course, we all want to focus on the safety of any of these wind sports. So give us some tips and advice before getting into this sport. For sure. Um, do your research. Uh, there's areas that uh, have designated ingress and egress zones where wind sports is supposed to be putting out from. Um, definitely want an experienced person to help you. It's not something you generally learn on your own. There's a steep learning curve, uh -huh. so get an experienced help. Um, and Al Moana Beach Park wouldn't be a place for any type of wind, uh, no. wind sports, huh? Generally, you, winds, you do wind sports on the windward side of the island with onshore breeze. Don't okay. want to do it out here. You might get... Uh, blown out to Molokai. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we don't want that. But of course, there are different boards to really start your wind sport experience. So if you could sure. go ahead and show our viewers the different boards and what we could do with them. So this one here is a twin tip. Okay. And this one's used for kite surfing. This one's a lot of fun if you want to do tricks. If you want to jump, you want to boost and get really high air. Yeah. Or if you want to do different aerial stunts, that's what this one's for. Right here, this little clip here is where you could put a device called a Woo, and it's an accelerometer. It'll measure your speed and your height from when you leave the water. Tell you how high you managed to get. Do you have a record by chance you want to share? Four, yeah. 46. 46. My feet. personal record in Hawaii's wind conditions. Wow, and you don't yeah. get nervous? No. no. If you go to other locations like Maui, you can get up around 100 feet. Really? Much stronger wind. Oh yeah. my goodness. All now, right, what's this right here? This, this is really my nice. baby. This is my personal favorite. It's yeah. my Alaya board. Uh, homemade, Baltic, uh, Baltic wood. Uh huh. And a friend of mine drew on this, but that's a picture of the Kailua Bay. Uh huh. This one here is a different sensation. This one's more for skimming, gliding, playing around. Is it just as durable too, even though it's a little thin? Well, it's been glassed. Oh, okay, So okay. I don't know if you can see it, but it's been fiberglassed. All right, so yeah. it can withstand anything. And then this most. one here is what I'm learning now. And what's that? And this is a wing board. A wing board. This board goes with what you're holding in your hand there, Dallas. Okay. So this board here gets attached to the foil, mm -hmm. and the wing goes in your hand, and you end up out of the water gliding on just that foil. I know. We're, and your truss is fully on this part. Yes. Of, of the, and, and you just have to hold on as best as you can, just right? Hold, well, look at how you can hold it with just one finger even. Oh, all right. You know, it'll just float. See, one hand. And that's all you need. That's all you need. Okay. Oh, and right, then, well, uh -huh. surfboard, last one. Last in the quiver. Yep, those are the toys. <laughs> well, these all look great. You make it sound so easy. This is all new to me, so I'm just soaking in all the knowledge and you know information that you're sharing with us. But if anyone wants to recap or just get their minds refreshed again, where can they go to? KailuaWindSportsAssociation.com. Okay. You can email us at kailuawindsports at gmail.com. There's numerous Facebook sites out there, chat groups and things like that. So get online, go to your social media. Hopefully you have a friend or someone who's doing some wind sports. You can get them to help teach you, take you down there. But it's a friendly group. So if you come down, you can just talk to people. Uh, Kailua Bay, one of our most popular spots. Another popular spot is Mokuleia up at North Shore. Okay. All right, well, that's nowhere. We're, and we'll, we'll put all this information on our website at khwin2.com. So I'll let you hand this over. But thank you so much, Ivan, for My your pleasure. time. pleasure. And if, again, if you want some more information, check our newscast tonight and visit our website, khwin2.com, for more info. Reporting here from Magic Island, Dallas Navarro's KHWIN2 News, working for Hawaii.
Mahalo, Dallas, for that live update from Magic Island, showing us the full spectrum of a lot of board sports and wind foils uh, for the next generation of a wind-inspired extreme sports. So very cool. And you've tried some of those extreme sports? I've, I've tried foiling. I've tried surfing. i tried the alaia. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, not the wing foil. I've done foiling, but I'm not good enough to try to go up to that. It's still pretty hard. As he, as, uh, he was saying, Ivan was saying, the learning curve is very steep. Mm. And it's also pricey. Those boards are pretty expensive. Expensive. We got to get the board as well as the foil, mm -hmm. and then the wing. So, I'll we'll probably buy like four surfboards for that amount. Oh, really? Seems wow. Like that. So I'm still, I'm still. I love surfing. I'll stick right there. <laughs> I'll stick to the sand. <laughs> yeah. I'll encourage you from the shore. But it's cool. Like you see some people on those foils. You mm. can go anywhere, which ways, doing flips and stuff. Mm -hmm. And as, he, as Ivan was saying, 45 feet he went, and up to 100 over on Maui on the north side. It's of getting people. popular. Yeah. People are flying. It's the way to do it legally. <laughs> <laughs> All right, coming up.